English for teachers. Now let's move on to page number two hundred and thirty-three, lesson number five. English shabdo shikun synonym padhuti the prayog sentence making machine. And you see, this is basically a crazy lesson, I must say, because you can create some thousands of thousands of sentences because a lot of words are given here. Amazing. Right. So, uh, how to learn it? Well, let, let's tell you a story. Yesterday, I got a call that where are the words of vocabulary in the teachers English for teachers book? Well, you see here, completely alone. What do you think? Isn't it a vocabulary? It is undoubtedly so. Incredibly genius. It's also vocabulary, right? Phrasal vocabulary. Bitterly upset. Now, I really, I really uh, 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 didn't like this. I mean, the readers they should have the some awareness. That where are the vocabulary? Every page has got words and vocabularies, right? This book is designed based on perfect vocabulary it's sets. It's called the applied things or. I guess so the contextual vocabulary, right? Right, so. Now, you see, how many subjects are here, Annie? Uh, can you read the subject from I'm to the manis? Of course. I'm, you're, he's, she's. I'm not, you aren't, he isn't, she isn't, they aren't, the girl is, the man is. That's cool. Okay, Lamia. Let me show you a sentence-making machine. I mean, you will produce a lot of sentences. The machine gives you sentences, right? How exciting, sir! Yeah, it is. It is. Let's take the subject and verb "I'm" and all the adjectives in the second column. Page number two hundred and thirty-three of the spoken English section of teachers' training book. I mean, English for teachers' book. So here we go. Uh, I will pronounce the first sentence. With independent, and you'll go for careless. I'll go for indolent. You'll go for lazy. This will go right. Okay. So here we go. All right, let's begin. I'm independent. I'm careless. I'm indolent. Are you? I'm oh, lazy. No. I, I know, I know, I know. I'm laid back. I'm industrious. I'm inexperienced. I'm inspiring. I'm intelligent. I'm interesting. I'm intolerant. I'm inventive. Hmm. I'm creative. I'm short-tempered. Maybe you are, right? No, absolutely <laughs> not. Okay, so you see, only using the word I and M, um, you made a lot of sentences. Now, if you can produce sentences using the word you are, let's go for this. Sure. You are independent. You're careless. You are indolent. You're lazy. No, I'm not. You are laid back. You're industrious. You are inexperienced. You're inspiring. You are intelligent. You're interesting. You are intolerant. You're inventive. You are creative. You're short-tempered. That's cool. Yeah. So this way you can make a lot of sentences. Now, if we want to extend the dialogue, then we we can we can ask another question and we can give a little response. You see, at the right part. The last column, so we can go this way. I'm independent. What is your opinion? Hmm, you are right. You see, a conversation is going right. on. Right, it's just like a machine. Yeah, how eloquent. Yeah, it is. I'm careless. Uh, do you agree with me? Hmm, you are right. <laughs> okay. I'm indolent. Am I right? I don't think so. Yeah, thank you. I'm industrious. Do you know the reason? I'm not sure. Okay. She's laid back. Do you agree? Maybe. So you see, you can create a lot of dialogues using this. You see, only one page is still just little part is done, right? Now, uh, you see, the alphabet alphabetical order A, B, C. And up to what level? Let's turn the page. Oh my God! Up to Z, right? There are a lot of words. Ki holo ekhon? Amra we we were taking videos and uh, we forgot to record the audio. You are absent-minded, sir. I am absent-minded. So ekhane absent-minded adjective to the actually, right? Right. So let's uh, use some 
uh, sentences using the word uh, adjectives and also some subject and verb, right? Adjectives make our lives colorful, isn't it, sir? No adjectives, no life, actually. Uh, if I want to say you are looking cool, the word cool doesn't exist. Oh, my God. The, the expressions would be colorless. Yeah, yeah. mundane. Yeah. So, uh, let's take the subject and verb you are and all the adjectives. We'll try to define each adjective. All right. Let's and, get and started. In English, definitely. Any right? Okay. You are able. It refers to you being capable. Yeah, you are capable. I mean, you have the ability to do something. Right. Right. And now, let's go for the adjective abnormal. You are abnormal. What it, do you mean by that? It means you are atypical or not typical. I mean, you are not common, actually. Abnormal meaning right. not normal. Right? You see how beautifully you can learn a word. Abnormal meaning no normal, not normal. Right. So instead of using Bangla, we can easily use English substitutes. Yeah, definitely, you are very right. We cannot say you are Oshavavik. I cannot say that. Right. So don't go for the word Oshavavik. Rather you go for abnormal, not normal, atypical, not typical, not common, not usual. You can go different, different ways, right? Of course. You are absent-minded. Actually, not you, me. It means you are forgetful. I'm Indeed. Forgetful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even sometimes I forget myself where I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, you are above average. It means you are... You are, you are better than the common people. Right. Right? And then you are adventurous, meaning you are daring. You love to take risk. You are adventurous. And in Bangla, we call it dushahoshik. Uh, I mean, you love to do some risky, tough, difficult tasks. Or you just love adventure. Mm -hmm. You are affectionate. The kids, moms, ladies are affectionate usually. What do you mean by affectionate? It means you're loving. You're caring. We can go for another word. Care, sure, right? sure. You are agile. It means you're lively. You are lively, meaning always you are full of heart, life, love, smile and everything. You are agreeable, meaning you say yes all the time. And then you are alert. What does it mean? You're it alert. means you're watchful. I mean, you always be careful that something can happen and you always take your steps, you mind your steps too. Right. And they are, you are amazing. Amazing meaning cool. Also wonderful. Wonderful, nice, fantabulous. You are ambitious. It means that you have a very specific goal and you or want dream. to work for it. Yeah, you are, you can say you are dreaming. Okay. You are, or you said there is another word, dreamy. And uh, so we are done with ambitious, right? Right. You are amiable. It means you're friendly. Mm. So instead of using the word friendly, you can, if you can use amiable, that's fine. How lovely, isn't it? It is, it is. It's uh, IELTS 8 standard word, amiable. Right. Uh, friendly, everybody knows it. This is a common word. And amusing. It right? means you're wondrous. Yeah, and, and you are, meaning you are a little bit funny also, right? Uh, humorous. You have got sense of humor. You're analytical. It means you're logical. You, you see every pinpointing thing. Right. Right? You're analytical. You're very caref careful, analytical. You're, an, you're angelic. Oh, that's so lovely. Well, I mean, adjective. You're angelic. It is. It also means that you're pure. Yeah, I mean, angels are pure. Right. Like that, right? Okay. Then you are pathetic. It refers to you're being indifferent. Indifferent. You don't care, actually. Right? Indifferent, meaning you are not different. Okay. Now, in this way, you can use many, many sentences. So, one, one by one, we will just go for you are and only the adjective. Or it will take a hell of time. We'll never be able to complete these things. Sure. Right? Okay, Lamia, we are on page still 233. Right? Okay. So, you will start with which word? Apprehensive. Apprehensive, right. You are apprehensive, meaning you are anxious. You go for the next word. You are anxious or worried means that you are concerned. Yeah. 
you are ardent meaning you are very keen meaning interested right and your artificial means you're fake yeah you are artistic meaning you are creative you are assertive meaning you're self confident meaning you are positive right you possess the positive ideas you are attentive meaning you are careful your average means that you are common yeah you are common you are awesome meaning you are fantabulous you are cool awesome magnetic your awful means you are terrible very bad so instead of using the word you are very bad you sh- you can use you are awful you are terrible hmm? right okay you are balanced meaning you are fair you are not partial your beautiful means you are pretty or exquisite or amazing or amazing you see without adjectives life would really be colorless yes right we could not express our feelings indeed you are below average meaning you are less than the quality of average people your benevolent refers to you being kind you're kind and you donate a lot of money right. something like that you're blunt meaning you are dull are you I'm not. You're agile and happy, right? I hope so. Okay. We have a very interesting word here. The pronunciation is boisterous. Yeah. And it means to be energetic. Yeah. So, uh, instead of using energetic, we can say boisterous. You are brave, meaning you are daring, right? Adventurous. Right. You're bright can mean that you're brilliant or you're shiny. Yeah. You're brilliant, meaning you're bright. So you see instead of using bangla like apni khubi medhabi you are medhabi you cannot go for you are medhabi you need to use the word brilliant or bright right now let's go for the letter c you are callous meaning you are cold right right <laughs> okay are that? you not really not really i'm really naughty okay your candid means that you are impromptu you are impromptu yeah you are friendly and you are spontaneous right spontaneous you are cantankerous meaning you are irritable ooh that's an interesting yeah. word and then you have got you're capable means you're competent yeah you are competent for this post of IELTS coordinator right? thank you yeah you are capable you are competent you are worthy of this right okay and then you're cautious you are cautious meaning you are very careful you are charming would you remember you are charming your charming can mean a lot of things like cheerful attractive and Good nice looking, right amazing and everything right like the next word the adjective this is a very usable adjective called childish you are childish meaning you are not mature right right so so a mature person can be uh, can behave in a childish way right I think so. <laughs> yeah. Uh so how about childlike? Right. Isn't it really nice? Yes, it, it can is. also mean childish. Yeah, childish, yeah. Childlike behavior. What is the next one? Cheerful. Cheerful, meaning always happy. Cheerful child. আচ্ছা এটা যদি আমরা বাংলায় যাইতাম তাহলে খুবই মানে আনন্দদায়ক ইউ আর ভেরি আনন্দদায়ক So what would you do with Ananda Dayo? Okay. Aro kothino to shabdo ache hashrojjol. Hashrojjol. Etar bojona abar ar ekta meaning hoyto. Ha. Hashi ujjol shokare je mukh something like that. Right. Okay. So this is really cool. And the next word I usually use this word with my wife. Eta ami boli amar wife ektu chikon chakon ejonno boli you are okay ami chik ta ki chik mane chikon theke chik. But chik has got an English word actually. I mean it's an English word. chick meaning Ch- uh, stylish are you chick i like to think so <laughs> yeah stylish chick meaning stylish this is really cool right meaning cautious or careful right right okay and another adjective this is really cool civil you are civil meaning you are social you are clean meaning you are spotless sometimes you can refer to rooms as well The room is clean meaning the room is spotless right very true and it is clever or the 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 fox can be clever or the sometimes the children can be clever what do you mean by clever clever means should 
Sure, yeah. And clumsy? Awkward. Coherent? Coherent means logical. Th this is this is an IELTS related word. Coherence and right. cohesion, right? Right, sir. Most people you pronounce it as coherent, but the pronunciation is coherent. coherent. Means logical. And cold meaning? Unfriendly. Okay. Uh, competent. So if we use it with your, the pronoun that we are going for, your competent, you are competent meaning means you are skilled. skilled. Yeah, very true. You are composed. Do you remember that? It means you are controlled. You are controlled. Okay. Sound together? Okay, fine. And conceited. Conceited means you are proud. Sometimes something it is haughty like this. Right. Conceited. Confident. It means that you're full of confidence. Yeah, you've got self-belief. Right. Right. And confused, what, what do you mean by that? Confused, here we have two more interesting words. The first one is you're baffled. Or perplexed. Yes. So we can say you are confused, I'm confused, I'm baffled, I'm perplexed. Lot of adjectives are there, right? The next one is... Conscientious, you're conscientious. Um, it means... You're careful. And the next word is considerate. What do you mean by that? It simply means you're kind or caring. And content meaning? You're happy. It's a very nice adjective. Content. I'm content. And I've got another ed added word is contented. The same meaning. You are cool. What do you mean by that? You are friendly. Mm -mm. Cool headed. Meaning Mr. Nine is cool headed, right? Calm and composed, Calm isn't and composed, he? Composed, yeah. Cooperative. It means that you get along with other people very nicely. And you are very helpful as well. You are very helpful, yes. Then cordial. What do you mean by cordial? We've already come across this word. Cordial refers to amiable. Mm, friendly also. Courageous. What do you mean by courageous? Full of bravery. Mm -hmm. Full of bravery. The soldiers are courageous. Yes, right? so am I. Yeah, you are. Okay. How about cowardly? You are not cowardly, of course. You can be spineless, though. <laughs> yeah, spineless, meaning you don't have any spine, right? Right. Okay. How about crabby? Crabby. Crabby means you're bad tempered. Comes from the word crab. Right. Right? Bad tempered. So, bad tempered is really easy to understand, but crabby is really a new, new word. Okay. How about crafty? Crafty means you're cunning. Shrewd. Right. Okay. Cranky. How about cranky? Cranky, just like crabby, is a very interesting word. It means the same thing, which is bad tempered. So you, you can learn the word cranky by using the known word called bad tempered. Right. Right. Interestingly, about, sir, we have quite a few vocabularies here which have synonyms or which have same hmm. meanings. So the reader can learn so many words of the same synonym. From known to unknown. Right. Right. How about crass? It means you're stupid. Yeah. How about critical? Critical means dangerous. Yeah. The situation is really critical. Meaning, is we usually do not understand the word critical. It means dangerous. How about cruel? Cruel means unkind. Unkind, yeah. How about curious? Curious means you're nosy. Yeah, nosy. I mean, you want to poke your nose everywhere. Right. This is a bad habit, right? Sometimes it's good habit too. If, if you want to spy something, right? If you weren't curious, we wouldn't have this book, right? Oh, that, that's uh, another thing, yeah, right. Uh, that's true. Nose, you have to poke your nose everywhere. To, it's, it's just observable, something like that. How about cynical? Cynical means you're pessimistic. Oh, pessimistic meaning without hope. Right. That's called pessimistic. Is the antonym of that? Optimistic. Optimistic. You're full of hope. But you believe in yourself. Right. So, Lamia, what do you think? This way, if you can define words in your way. So, it will be easier for you to speak properly, right? Absolutely, Using sir. Using good words. And uh, could you say a few words about adjectives and Im importance? How important adjectives are? Like we already discussed, adjective is an indispensable part of our daily lives. Oh. Whatever you want to say, 
we you know you cannot say it without using a particular mm. describing word life would be colorless right so if you say this is a room this isn't so many color this is a cozy room quiet room now it gives you separate vibe right But how the room is you can understand that right yeah that's really cool so we're done with c now we'll move on to the letter d oh my god how painful it is just we're done with only two pages right thank you